Hey guys, welcome to day 179 of my carnivore journey. We are just one day away from weigh-in. And if you watched yesterday's video, day 178, you know that I'm a little nervous. I mean, we'll just see how it all shakes up. Like I said, I'm only human. So I hope that if you're out there and you're following my day-to-day -day journey and I'm just like a normal guy, I hope that all of this relates to you and you can see what just a normal person is going through. So if I naturally maybe start to eat a little more or whatever, then you're going to see that change. You're going to see whatever reaction my body's going to have to, to all this stuff. Now, what about goals? <clears throat> well, depending on what happens tomorrow with weigh in, I'll have some long-term goals, but I know kind of in the near future over the next 30 days, like I said, my roommate, he started carnivore today. Um, he is documenting everything. We took his measurements and weigh in. And so his journey is going to be awesome. Like you guys will have to follow him. I really hope he, you know, like I said, he's a big boy, 400 and plus, like, I believe he's over 400 and six foot two, but you guys, his journey will be awesome. I think. And, um, but he's going to have a channel, but he's, he's kind of, doing a few days in and recording each day and then he's going to start posting once he gets his channel set up so his channel is not set up yet um so he will be setting it up as soon as he does i'm going to let you guys know and i would love for you guys to go give him you know some love and go follow him give him some support just like you guys support me he's going to need it you know but over the next 30 days my diet is going to kind of go on the back burner slightly because I'm going to be making more foods that have um, like car like carnivore pizzas and things like that again, because these were things that helped me in the beginning, um, even though I've gotten away from a lot of those. It, so it may harm my diet just a little bit going back to some of those things, but it's going to help him and we can't eat complete separate all the time. We're going to be eating carnivore meals together. So I will be having some of the same things and reintroducing some old recipes that I haven't done in a while. And we may try some new ones. You know, I want to keep it fun for him in those first 30 days for sure as he makes that adjustment. And then naturally, he's going to gravitate further away from all that stuff just like I did. And I'm going to get back to an ultimate, I think, guys, in the end after the, um, I get him squared down a little bit. I'm really thinking I'm going to go lion. I think I might go lion diet uh, in the future. Because right there toward the end, I was starting to practice a lot more with that in this last like week. As you guys know, I talked a lot about seasonings and I started doing just salt and it really was making a huge difference. I can tell you tonight. So tonight for dinner, um, it was his first night. So guess what? I made him a one pound burger <laughs> right here. I made the one pound burger, baby. Um so I made that for him. He thought it was good. And I also, because again, this was his first day, I also made a side of uh, like a, a carnivore steak sauce. It's basically a little bit of butter, some heavy cream, a little bit of cream cheese, and a little bit of beef, beef bouillon, and a little bit of onion powder. So it was like this kind of gravy-ish type thing. And and it really, you know, it, it helped him out a lot. Um the burgers I did make with garlic powder and salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, the same stuff I always told you guys in all my other one pounders. Um, I can already feel a little bit, little bit of inflammation, um, I think, from the spices because I haven't had them in probably a week. <laughs> but I can feel a little bit in my left arm, uh, my forearm, um, a little bit in my my. Um, you know, my fingers had a lot more arthritis and I can just feel a little bit of inflammation in a few of my fingers, but again, it should be, I'm, I'm okay. I think I can handle that. Um, but in any case, you know, like I said, I, I really want to help my friend out. And I hope you guys do too. Like I said, I really look forward to his journey also. And, um, but I will get back to, to mine now for, for lunch. I had two hot dogs like yesterday and many of the other days. Yes, guys, I am going to be hard boiling some eggs, but my Instapot is down. It's not coming up to temperature enough. It's, it's coming up to pressure, but it won't get hot enough to like 
cook the eggs all the way, like, you know. So uh, my Instant Pot's down, and I don't have a quart, a four-quart, like, you know, saucepan or Dutch oven-style pan. And I need that. And I and I looked, and for some reason, the four-quart pans are really expensive. The, the couple of places I look, I'm going to go to Walmart and see if I can't get me just a cheap, you know, four-quart pan just to boil eggs. But I'm going to do some hard-boiled eggs the old-fashioned way. So I'll probably work on that this weekend because I really do want to get back to having eggs for lunch. Ultimately, what I would like to see is eventually I want to get me back on like a lion diet with um, – or or – I want to get to a lion diet and probably just have like two hard boiled eggs for lunch. Um, so two hard boiled eggs with some salt and then like a steak and salt at night. Um, so that's what I'm trying to get to. So we'll see, but we'll see how tomorrow plays out again. I haven't, and this is so weird. Every time it's like right before weigh in, I start getting nervous because I haven't pooped in a few days really i don't think it's been almost two days right now and it's like i'm like come on man i want to poop like i want to lose weight <laughs> i don't know i just you know what i mean that mentality so um and then we'll see what the measurements give us so i'm i'm kind of, I'm kind of curious because i feel like i've stalled a little bit or at least slowed down so we'll see we'll see anyways guys that's all i've got for you guys to today um I look forward to tomorrow. So the way tomorrow, I've got an interview with a another carnivore channel. They wanted me to come on there and talk. I don't know if it's going to be live or not. I forgot to ask or if they're recording it. But if not, be on the lookout. If if so, I may post a, a link in the community page. So if you guys want to come join that. Um, I don't think anybody, when I did the live with Aaliyah, I don't think anybody showed up from, from my channel. I can't remember. But um, but in any case, if you guys want to see that tomorrow night, I believe we're gonna be it's gonna we're gonna record or be live around eight Eastern. And what else? The then Saturday night around eight or nine Eastern, I'm gonna go live, and that's when I'm gonna reveal the results. That's when we're gonna do the the thirty day live thing, right? Every every thirty days, we're gonna do a live. And it's a lot of fun. Last time we all hung out, we, we hung out for what, like an hour and a half last time. But we were like BSing, talking. I was sharing things. You guys were asking questions. We had a good time. So anyways, guys, we will see you tomorrow. Bye.